Facebook ads that made over $1 million exposed. Hey, Avisu here. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe down below, turn on post notification so you don't miss out on any video. In this video, I'll show you the best Facebook ads of 2018, and I'm also gonna show you the elements and the requirements of a good Facebook video ad. I also created a small PDF with uh, 10 best Facebook ads, and that PDF basically breaks down the best image ads and also the best ads of 2019. So if you wanna get that PDF, uh, just go to the description, click the link below, and I'll send you the PDF to your messenger. Hold on, hold on. In this video, I'll also give away a free winning product that is currently trending. So if you wanna get the winning product that you can currently just test, um, just watch the video till the end and I'll just basically make a pop-up and sh uh, reveal the winning product. Before I show you all these ads, uh, I want you to notice a few commonalities. The first three seconds really need to be engaging. So they really need to be like, it needs to show the wow factor. Another thing is it should be 20 to 30 seconds usually if you want the people to watch it till the end. Uh, but for some products and for some types, it can be even 60 minutes. But generally, I like 20 to 30 seconds. You should see like a cut every three seconds. So every three seconds, something should be changing. You know, you don't wanna, you don't wanna show like one shot like all the time, like this boring video, right? So that's why you always need to change things in your video ad. Another thing that I noticed a lot of ads have is they have captions. So on the bottom, it just tells the benefit, it sells the product, right? And with the captions, the trick is that you really need to focus either on the benefits, how it's gonna help the customer, or it needs to be very emotional, like people love this, you know, kids are going crazy over this toy, or moms are going crazy over this kitchen gadget and stuff like that. So it really needs to be emotional or really needs to focus on the benefit for the customer, right? Uh, another thing is that really good uh, video ads is they show emotion, they show faces, right? And so right now I'm gonna show you the best ads and you know, we're gonna break them down. Oh, I forgot to mention, a lot of people are asking for dimensions. I just recommend 1000 times 1000, so it's square format or you can do 1080 times 1080, that is also fine. Another thing is that you also need to have suitable music because music also creates uh, mood. So that's why I also have background music in my videos, right? So those are very, very important. And another thing is don't forget to have a logo. So you should have a watermark um, just in the middle of the video. Uh, so nobody steals your product basically. I'm gonna show you a watermark on this video and you should basically have the same watermark uh, for your video ads, just not my face, but it should have your store logo or your store name. So the first product that I'm gonna expose is this dog toy, right? And uh, as you guys can see, it has 26,000 shares. And just to put it into perspective, uh, I made over $600,000 and combined of all the ads, it is around 16,000 shares, right? So. Um, as you guys can see, you know, uh, 16,000 shares was around 600K. So this product could also made around $500,000 to a million or even more, right? But it just basically like depends, you know, uh, it just basically depends on the product price. Also depends, depends on the store's conversion rate. And it also depends on the targeting, right? So if they're targeting worldwide, uh, then obviously they're gonna get more engagement. Uh, I wasn't targeting worldwide. Mostly I was targeting uh, the top 10 countries with the highest uh, GDP, right? And also another reason why I'm looking at shares and not likes or comments is that likes are very easy and uh, like very easy to get. So that's why I don't really look at uh, likes. I look mostly at shares, which are hard to get. But let's talk about the, the thumbnail of this video, right? So the thumbnail, I don't really like it. It's it's just kind of bad in like in my opinion. It just shows the toy, right? Uh, a better ad would be if they would show a puppy with that toy, uh, playing with that toy. So that would be just way better, you know, because people can instantly know what is this product. This way, it just doesn't tell anything. It just shows the product and it also shows that it glows, but that's not good enough, right? But let's look at the video and I'm gonna break it down and tell you like what they're doing very, very well and what you can also apply for your video ads. 
So instantly you can see a puppy, right? So it's instantly cre creating emotions. That's very good. You can also see, you know, um, they have they have the captions uh, below, stimulates growth, you know, it tells the benefit, right? Also like every dog over needs this, you know, at the bottom, it's very good, you know, um, hours of entertainment, another benefit, right? Then it says, you know, jumps in any surface. So it's kind of breaking down the people's objections because they're thinking, you know, will it work, you know, if I have carpet at home? And then like, boom, you're telling them, you know, it jumps on any surface, it works anywhere, you know? Also another thing, it shows that it's glowing, right? So um, amazing spark, uh, sparkling light. So again, it's breaking another objection you know, that you can also use it at night. You can use it anywhere, anytime, right? So this ad is just, really well done you know ultimate interactive toy um also what i like is they, they have the watermark uh, watermark uh, live your expression through the middle so nobody can just really rip your ad off and like if well they can but like there is going to be your watermark so when you report them uh facebook is going to take down the ad uh for your furry friends that's another really good thing it seems like um, like the advertisers, the the people who created this ad, really understand their market. You know, they're speaking they're speaking the language of the customer, and that's what I always recommend. Is whenever you're selling a product, try to put yourself in the shoes of the customer, right? So if you're selling a woman's product, you know, you can't really think of, think about the product um, as a man, like as as our, like how you would think logically about the benefits. You need to think. Think about the product as a girl like how like how you're gonna feel about the product like how it's gonna make you feel you know how like what are the benefits right and they're doing this really really well with the captions you know for your furry friends and at the end you know they also have a call to action you know uh, click the link in the description you know, you know that's very good right call to action at the end they tell people what to do once they um once they you know watch so that is very good so um, let's talk about mm, let's talk about the second product, which is the scratch off map. And personally, I have tested this product. Um, it was a winner, you know, at the time, and it's kind of a winner now. Uh, it was a winner at the time, and I was testing it right. And for me, it wasn't a winner. You know, I think I was testing it even before then. This was October, uh, October 2018. I think uh, I tested it during the summer, right? And it wasn't a winner for me. And the lesson, guys, here is that. Even if it's a winner for someone else, it doesn't mean that it's gonna be your winner, right? Because there are just too many variables, too many different things, guys. Like probably you have a different ad, a video ad, you have a different thumbnail, you have a different store, and you have a different ad account, right? And basically with Facebook ad accounts, they just behave differently. So, you know, two people can test the same product and they will have completely different results. You know, so that's why like you don't have a winner until you have tested it and have proven that it is a winner for you on your ad account, right? So never assume a product is gonna be a winner. You always gotta test it. You know, I found so many products that I was think I was thinking, you know, like awesome, this is gonna be a winner. And then I just like over invested money into the product. I just launched too many ads and I was just hoping that it would work. I'll just be like, okay, day one was bad, but you know, day two it's gonna be better. And no, it wasn't, it never was. So don't really, don't really hope, don't really assume, don't get attached, don't get emotionally attached to your products, right? Just focus on the data, just focus on, you know, what the data is telling, what Facebook ads manager like is telling you, right? If you're not getting any sales, it's not a winner, sorry. So, you know, let's talk about, let's talk about this product, right? So we can see, you know, instantly what I really like about this ad is the thumbnail, right? Scratch off where you visited and it has the emojis, the airplane, the map, you know, very well done. Um, there is nothing that I would just really change about this thumbnail. Maybe I'll just get rid of the modernized life um, watermark. Um, but otherwise, you know, I really like this thumbnail. So, you know, let's let's look at this then. So instantly you guys can see that the footage is sped up. Um, this is really good at tactic. Uh, you really want to speed up your clips. Uh, you don't want to like drag it out. You know, you don't, you don't want to, you, you don't really want to drag, like drag it out. You know, it's gonna, just going to be boring, you know? And also another thing is you're kind of like seeing that 
you know, it's, it's per yeah, also what I really love about this product is that it's a perfect gift for any traveler. This is a very smart marketing angle, right? Because when people sometimes click on the ad, you know, because they're interested, like they're just intrigued and then click on the ad and they just kind of realize that it, the product is not for them. But when you tell them it's a perfect gift for someone else, it just kind of switches their thinking into like, oh, I could maybe buy it for someone else. Maybe, you know, um, my mom would find this handy or, you know, my friend would find this also like handy or my boyfriend or a girlfriend, right? So this is very smart, you know, um, perfect gift for any traveler that is really good. Also, they tell like perfect for somebody like traveler. They're just not saying perfect gift, right? You just always want to also identify for whom to make it easier for the customer to like realize for, for whom it is a really good gift. Uh, another thing what I really like is that there is a watermark, right? So there is a watermark, um, you know, to protect your ad, modernize life. So nobody kind of can take it and, you know, run with it. Uh, you, you can kind of report it. So that's very smart. Another thing is great conversation starter for your home and office. Again, right? They just really understand, they just really understand who they're selling to. And that's why this ad is just doing so well. You know, um, great conversation starter instantly, you know, make, you're just making people like intrigued into this, like interested in the product. Another thing is um, at the top, there is a progress bar showing people, you know, uh, how long is the video. That's another good thing. It's not necessary but it is a really nice touch as well. And as you can see, you know, they're changing, they're changing, they're changing the clips, you know, every three seconds now. So that's also very, very good. You know, you don't, you don't want a like, boring video like mine, just always a static, you know, always just me, just my face, right? So this ad is really good. It's changing the scenery. Um, you know, it's just always changing. There's always something new and just keeps people just engaged, right? So don't take example of this YouTube video. This YouTube video is just bad, but for, for Facebook ads, you just want to switch your clips uh, every three to four seconds, basically. Also unique and personalized record of your journey. You know, again, it's just talking about the benefits, um, right? Uh, I also think that the music was also very good for this Facebook ad, right? So um, that's also something that a lot of people don't talk about but you should always find a really good and suitable music for your Facebook ad, um, loyalty free, definitely. Um, you, don't, you don't want like any copyright, copyrighted music, you know, um, so always loyalty free. And because like the music, it just puts people in a better mood. And when you can put people into a better mood, uh, they're also more likely to purchase your product. So that's also like a small detail that also helps. That's why, you know, for my, that's why like for my, you know, um, my YouTube videos, I also, put background music so large and premium okay so that's basically like telling people about the product um, tag a friend that would like this so that's something that I just don't recommend nowadays uh, Facebook is just cracking down uh, they don't really like this you know tag your friend in your Facebook ad copy or in your Facebook video ad maybe it's like you can still do that but i'll just be careful right now facebook is just being more strict right so we just need to adapt and i'll just not recommend you to put like any tag a friend or share um just just don't just don't do that anymore just to be better better be safe than sorry right so just just do that um so the next product is this peeler that that ad is just like this has been seen by everybody right like 117k shares it's just so so many uh, so let's talk about so let's talk about the thumbnail right so the thumbnail um, I don't like it that much anymore because like the OMG I need this uh, like nowadays it's kind of a little bit overdone like a lot of dropshippers are just like copying that and just everybody's just saying OMG I need this and people are just maybe getting like banner blind to that because like they're always saying like OMG I need this OMG I need this so um, I would just do maybe something different but what I really like about this ad is that it just doesn't look like an ad. It just looks very organic. It looks like a video that a friend would just share on their newsfeed to another friend, right? Because people, when people see ads, they're just kind of like ignore them, you know, like they know it is an ad and, you know, they don't want to be sold to. So what I like about this ad is it just doesn't look like an ad that's trying to sell you something. It just, 
some guy talking about the peeler, you know, how awesome it is and showing it off and just basically it's like a review video because like this video is like three minutes long, over three minutes long. That's something I would never recommend. But as you guys can see, because it's like an organic video, um, that's why it's just working so well, you know. You don't see like any, um, any call to actions. You guys don't see, you know, any spammy things that a lot of dropshippers do. So it looks very organic and that's why it's working so well. Another hack, you know, how you can find really winning products and find like learn the elements of best viral ads is just go to ecomvids.com, right? So right now we're at ecomvids. Uh, what they do is they create really awesome, engaging viral and review videos for uh, dropshippers and Amazon FBA sellers. And, you know, just go to their page and they have some videos that they're showing to people, right? So you can just go to their page and analyze their videos, right? So let's check some of these ads. So, okay, so let's click on this one. So sick and tired of endless chopping, right? So you're, you're instantly seeing that someone is just being, fr like the woman is just frustrated, right? In the beginning, it's showing, showing her face, it's showing the emotion, right? And it's just showing how she's frustrated. And then, you know, never waste time with this. It's talking about the benefit. And then the woman is just like smiling and it, that works really well. You know, it's, it just creates a lot of emotion when you can see someone's face. And it's also talking about the benefits, right? No knives, no blenders, you know, they're speeding up the clips, right? Yeah, so you guys can see, you know, it's just talking about the benefits. It has all the watermarks. Um, the clips are changing, you know, every, I don't know, every two to three seconds, right? You also have a cute baby there. Also a really good, you know, just showing all the benefits, all the use cases for the product. So it's just really selling the product really, really well. So you guys can just go to ecombits.com and check out some, some videos. And also like a personal story is, I personally use ecombits, right? So with my winner, uh, I started in October, right? And you know, uh, the reason why I've been able to run this product for so long, you know, is because, um, because like from October till now, it's like five months. So this product has been working for so long because like dropshipping products, they usually last a month or two months. And I've been able to run it for so long because I have a custom video that nobody else had. You know, most of the people, they're just using the same dropshipping footage and they're just cutting it a little bit differently. But I was the only person that had a unique footage that looked legit because my video was a review video of someone and someone's face telling that they love the product, right? So that's why, that's why I was able to still run it for so long when other people have just scaled it for, you know, for so, for like four or five months and it just still works for me. The first reason is the ad and the second reason is that my store looks more like a branded niche store. It just doesn't look drop shipping, right? So these two components has, has helped me to run the product for so long. And also guys, um, I used uh, the Ecom Bits video really helped me to scale to $17,000 a day. That was my record. And thanks to that video, I was able to scale to those numbers. So if you wanna check out Ecom Bits, uh, just go to my resources page. Uh, the link is down below. Uh, basically it's ivyzoo, ivy-zoo.com uh, slash resources dash page. And uh, there, you know, you'll find the Ecom Bits link with a discount code as well. Uh, but just a quick disclaimer, you know, it is not for everybody because the videos are like several hundred dollars, um, you know, so it's only for people who can afford it. Uh, but if you can afford it, it's definitely worth, uh, it's really worth the money if you find a good winning product that you can scale. So I highly recommend Ecombit. Thanks so much for watching the video till the end. Uh, subscribe down below and turn on post notification if you haven't done so yet. And also, you know, if you're wondering uh, what to do next, um, I invite you to check out my older videos to just basically learn about my whole journey, you know, my struggles, my ups and downs, because, you know, dropshipping, it's definitely not a get rich quick scheme. It's not a get rich quick and easy. You know, um, it took a lot of work. So, you know, if you watch my older videos, uh, there you can see, you know, all my progress, all the ups and downs, all the struggles. I talk about it, you know, everything is basically revealed on my channel. You know, so just check those videos out and also make sure to share my videos with some of your friends uh, for them to check out my channel. 
So thanks for watching and have a great day.